Welcome back you guys, today I'm going to show you with a low amount of coins how you can make a ton. We've got a range of budgets from 1 to 100k to show you guys exactly what you need to do to get a team like mine and build those coins. But if you do want a shortcut to get some coins, well, if you guys are looking to get some FIFA coins to improve your team and smash through Weekend League, check out U4GM FIFA 23 coins and you can use code RECALL for 5% off at checkout. Make sure to go check out the sponsor guys, but let's get into the video. But well, before we get into it, we've just completed the player pick for a base or World Cup hero. So, this could be very interesting. I've got a few already. You've got one of two. So, I'm gonna close my eyes. We're gonna, so I can kind of just see that we've opened the pick. I'm gonna go in on the first one that comes open. So, oh, this is bad. Okay. This could be really bad. Mm, do you know what? Park Ji Sung. I like Park Ji Sung. We'll take it. He's actually a very good CDM esque player. But, it could have been a lot worse, and compare price-wise, I feel like I've been blessed with these heroes. 100 and something K. You know what? We'll take it. And because of that, we're going to raise the 12K FIFA points giveaway to £200. So if you do want to win some FIFA points, make sure to subscribe at 12K. We're giving away £200 worth. So we're going to start off with a bit of a cheaper filter because I was asked for some cheaper ones yesterday. So we're going to go Gold Rare, right back, France, and League One. Now, who you get with this is you get Klaus, and you also get, if we take off the uh, the price cap there, you got Mukelele as well. Now, both of these guys can go for as low as 600 coins, which means you've got a good profit margin. And the cheapest you'll find them on the market right now is about 1.7. I'd say would probably be a reasonable place to say, maybe even 1.8 for a guaranteed sell-on. Now, realistically, for sniping, I'd say go to 1.5 and then you want to go from there so we've got a 1.4 straight away and we're going to list that one up for 1. 1.7 1 because it guarantees us profit but isn't being too greasy uh greasy greedy and um, so we'll go 1.5 again see what we get that's the one we've already had you want to go max price obviously uh, and go down from there now mukulele um i believe i'm pronouncing his name right mukulele he is going to be worth a little bit more so if you do find him you might want to take the time to try and see how much he's actually going for i think it's like one or two hundred maybe three hundred coins more uh, than klaus there obviously klaus is literally free available in objectives right now if you just score three goals and the assist being with a right back now to be fair i don't think many people are buying him for their teams i think the majority of people are going for him for league one sbcs or the league sbc um, that has the league one section in it now can we get another one before moving on we've missed a 1.3 can we get a, another 1.4 or maybe even a 1.5 just to put the ice in on the cake there we'll do a 10 count so 10 9 8 oh we've got one there has he missed it oh we've missed another 1.3 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. I told you the 10 count works. Now only slightly increasing the value here. We're going gold rare Portugal and then we've gone PSG. Now for this one, you've got Nuno Mendes and you've also got Renato Sanchez, who as you can see are both increasing in value right now. I believe once again, because of SBCs. Now they're not too expensive. You can get them both for around the 3K mark. I think Renato Sanchez is a little bit more, and um, but you can pick them both up under this filter. So we've gone from 1K to kind of like two, uh, a little bit above two there. You've got a few there at around 2K. We're gonna try to find the biting point for these bad boys. 2.4 seems like a reasonable sell on point. I think that doesn't seem too ridiculous. If we go down to 2.2, there's one on the. Oh, we didn't mean to grab it. I thought that was going to be like a 2.1. That was, I guess that's kind of an L. We're going to put it up for 2.2. Not great profit there, so we won't really count that as a snipe. Um, but we're going to go back, try and get 2.1 and below for this one. That's kind of where I would say is reasonable when picking this guy up. Anything 2.1 or below, you're definitely going to get a few really good snipes. And if you get Renato Sanchez, then you are absolutely bullshit and you are absolutely gas. so they do come up quite frequently and um, the 2.2 if we can squeeze a little bit of extra value out of it would be a brilliant snipe we've just missed a 1.4 um, which is a little bit annoying because that would have been like 900 coins after EA tax which is always obviously pretty good actually might have even been just over a K there so that's a bit of an L we're gonna slow it down a little bit and see if we can get oh come on please don't yes okay it's so disappointing i can't lie with the new sniping that i seem to miss a lot of players and it is you know it is a bit sad um so well we're happy to get that one 2.4 again after ea tax you're looking at about 300 coin profit not exactly 300 i think it's just under 300 coins we've got two there both at 2.2k both listable at 2.3 so we've got that one up there again pop that on i'd say two yeah 2.3 uh 2.4 once again that one is off the market nice so people are picking them up pretty quickly we're getting 
ones, uh, sorry, 2K is coming up quite frequently. I did, oh, we've, we've just had a blunder. Renato Sanchez for 2K. That would have been lovely. Um, big miss from me there. I think we'll move on to the next filter. Oh, not before we miss another man. So for the next one, we're going up a little bit. We've got Gold Rare midfielder, Liga Santander and Real Madrid. You want to set the minimum to 10 to 50 and you'll have Cruz and Modric. Both very similar in value due to the fact that they are both 88 and both will have gone up a little bit due to the SVC that we did at the start of the video. Now looking there, I see a Camavinga creeping up. So how do we remove Camavinga from this filter, you may ask. You want to go over to Footbin, search Camavinga and find out what I reckon his max is 13k to be fair. Okay, yeah, it's 13k. So we set the, the minimum buy now there to 13,250. You also do get Vinicius Jr. on this filter. Now, how much is he going for currently? He's going for 22k. So this one, you can grab him at 22, and you can grab the others if you get like a mad snipe on them. Obviously, both of them seem to be similar price. Oh, okay, so they've actually they're actually cheaper than I thought. Right. Okay. Cool. Everyone's around 22k mark. That makes it a lot easier. We've got Vinny and Modric and Cruz there as well. Um, I'd say it's 22 sell on. We really want to be making a decent profit here. EA tax on that is about 1.2k. I'd say we want to go down to 20k uh, for the picking up just to make sure that we are making a good profit. So you've got Vinny most likely to come up I think Modric and Cruz right now are going to be a little bit harder to pick up just because SBCs when they come out and it's guaranteed that a player will be useful like an 86 and 88 for an 86 rated SBC it is going to be harder to snipe them but I do believe we can still make some profit here and grab a, a decent one and maybe even like half an hour after this field is going to be a little bit easier to use now obviously Vinny Jr's minimum is 3k so you've got pretty much obviously we set the minimum at 13 but you got a 7k bracket of profit there where the minimum you're making is okay the max you can make is 8k cruiser modric you can probably make a little bit more if i think we've missed that one 20k there we've had a blunder we've missed the cruise who would have been very nice we're going to slow it down again see if we can get the next one because that was a little bit just a little bit uh, of an l there 10 9 8 7 7 6 Five, oh no, five, four, three, three, two, one. And you might be asking why I doubled up on a few of those numbers. It's because I didn't actually switch the search, so it wouldn't have actually changed what came up. We're going to go in honor of our Park G Sung that we've just got. We're going to go World Cup, Cam, and Premier League. You get Kewel, you get Park, you get Coit. Um, you also get, I think there's one other guy who comes up. But we're going to set, oh yeah, Cole as well, but he's just not going to come up on this floor. Uh, we're going to set this to 160. That's kind of the minimum for this guy. 150. Let's have a look. See how much we actually made off that SBC. I think we did quite well, being that he's like 100 and something K. 130 there, not too bad. 126, nothing. 128, nothing. 130 seems to be the dead on price for this guy. And what is his EA taxable change there? Let's have a look. He goes to as low as 18K. So this could be a, a very, very profitable one. EA tax is going to make that about 7K EA tax. We're going to have to go for 120 for the snipe. Now, if you pick up anyone that's not Park G Sung, you are laughing. Obviously, I appreciate we've taken some jumps. We started 1K, then 2K, then 20K, and then we've gone up to 120. But if you're going for a 20K filter, you can use that all the way up to being millions and millions of coins and then when you get your sort of four or 500k maybe you want to move over to a 100k filter but the thing is with a 100k filter if you've only got 400k you can only snipe like four players and unless you get an insane snipes you then have to wait a while so sometimes it is better to wait till you've got like a million coins to be doing these higher higher budget sniping filters now you might be asking well i've only got 250k why am i doing them i'm showing you guys the filters bearing in mind i only have to really get one snipe for the video to show you how good the filter is so we are hoping one going to come up we might have to do a little bit of a break between it coming up we one came up and we missed it one came up and we freaking missed it how on earth oh i've been waiting for ages as well one came up and we flipping missed it oh it was 120 as well oh guys that's such an l I'm going to leave you guys to it have a lovely day make sure to stay tuned for more we've got some brilliant videos coming tomorrow and i'll see you tomorrow that's going.